all cancer survival rates are fake. Increased survival rates have to do with statistical biases instead of effective treatments. In this video you will learn why 5 year cancer survival rates are bogus and why you shouldn't trust them. So let's start. Cancer survival rates often use a 5 year measurement. It is often cited in cancer statistics. Statistics often mean little in the real world of cancer patients. 5 year survival stats do not discern between disease free survival and those alive with disease. A woman can get a breast cancer diagnosis. If she is still alive 5 years later, she is a successful survivor, even if she still has cancer or not. It doesn't matter if she is bedridden, unable to feed herself or on life support. If she dies 5 years and 1 month after diagnosis, she is still a success. So let's say she dies from any side effects of cancer treatments. She can have a surgical complication, a drug reaction, chemotoxicity or organ failure. If she didn't technically die from cancer, she might not be part of the statistics. There are two methods you can use to fake 5 year survival rates. These are lead time and overdiagnosis biases. So here's how misleading and biased 5 year survival statistics can be. So let's look at lead time bias. Imagine a group of patients get a cancer diagnosis at age 67 because of some symptoms. So 3 years later, they all die at age 70. So each patient survived only 3 years, so the 5 year survival rate for this group was 0%. Now imagine that everyone undergoes a cancer screening. So let's say the screening catches cancer in all patients at age 60. But at age 70 they still die. So in this scenario, each patient survived for 10 years. So the 5 year survival rate for this group is now 100%. Survival just went from 0 to 100%. With this new screening test, cancer patients now appear to live 3 times longer, 10 years instead of 3. But what happened is that each got treated as a cancer patient for 7 plus years. The other trick the industry uses to mislead us is through overdiagnosis bias. So this is how it works. So let's say without screening, out of 1000 people with advanced cancer, only 400 are alive 5 years later. So without screening, the 5 year survival is only 40%. But let's say they overdiagnosed 2000 more people with cancers that would have never caused a problem, or would have disappeared on their own. So since the cancer was harmless, they should live 5 years later if treatments didn't kill them. So let's say all 2000 people with non-threatening cancers survive 5 years. If you add those with severe cancers, you should have 2400 survivors out of 3000. So that's an 80% 5 year survival rate. So in this way you have doubled the 5 year survival rate, even if the same number of people died from cancer. Many cancer patients are not living longer due to improved cancer treatments. They are just finding out sooner that they have cancer thanks to early detection. So early stage cancer are not life threatening and may heal without treatment. If you use surgery, radiation and chemo and still survive, you are a success. So this is true even if those treatments didn't contribute to your survival. So one example is ductal carcinoma in situ, also known as stage 0 breast cancer. It accounts for 20-30% to 30 of all breast cancer diagnoses. This cancer has almost a 100% 10 year survival rate. About 20-30 to 30 out of every 100 breast cancer patients also get a false diagnosis. They then get treated for something that isn't cancer. Lead time bias and overdiagnosis bias have made vast improvements in 5 year survival rates. But the cancer death rate has not improved in 60 years. The cancer industry uses bogus 5 year survival rates to fake the reduction in cancer deaths. They need to mislead us so that we don't know that they are not curing most cancers. The industry finds and treats cancers that would have never been life threatening. At the same time they fail to cure serious cancers. There is no correlation between increased survival rates and decreased death rates. That is why these statistics are meaningless when it comes to screenings. Even if these stats are fake, they are still used to promote screenings. So we are told that if you catch cancer early, you have a bigger chance of surviving. But all it does is to create more cancer patients that the industry can treat. Mammograms used to diagnose breast cancer can even cause more of it. So increased survival rates have to do with statistical biases instead of effective treatments. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel.
Also visit our page cancerwisdom.net to learn how to treat cancer with natural remedies. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.